looking to buy an ultra modern home in the Waterkloof Golf Estate? Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are back with listing agent Marusha from Luxlive Property Group, who's going to take us on a tour of this masterpiece. Guys, wait until you see this one. It's undoubtedly one of our favorite tours because this property has so much to offer and it'll blow you away. So I'm glad you could join us. Now, specs in the house. This is a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, and listen to this, 10 car garage. So without further ado, Marusha. Thank you very much. So even if you're not looking to buy an ultra modern home, I think after seeing this one, you will want to buy it. It is magnificent. It is pure perfection. And because it is so modern, it really stands out in the Pretoria landscape where we tend to have a little bit more classic homes. Already from the facade of the house, you can see that we are in for an architectural masterpiece. They've really gone above and beyond in terms of all the architectural features from both sides of the house. We are going to enjoy looking at the house from the golf course side, but from the front here where your guests are coming into, they can already see your massive driveway into your garage and they can then step onto the very wide walkway that leads into the house. And it shows you the various architectural features above us with the exceptionally high uh, cover, I would say, for to. Uh, protect you from the rain and from the elements. And all of this, it's almost like it's floating. It's suspended above your head with very little columns. And we're going to see this as we're going throughout the house as well. A lot of the cantilevers here are not even supported by columns. So very, very special design. Now we're walking through the entrance and I just want to point out, we have glass, we have steel and just a touch of wood here and there. And the attention to detail with this house starts already with your entrance. And I'm sorry to make you take a step back. You even have built-in lights into the wooden frame of the door. So again, just gives you that mood as you enter through the glass and then brings you into the house and sets the mood for the rest of the space. Because the entire space is really set with these beautiful down lights, LED lights throughout and a little bit of a chandelier here and there, but mostly it is taking you out into the golf course and into the views of Pretoria. But first of all, let's step into the kitchen, one of my favorite places in a house. This kitchen is magnificent. You can see they enjoy their cooking, a ton of cupboard space, a ton of countertop space. They've kept here predominantly white. So all the Caesar stone that you see is white all your cupboards are white. They've done a touch of wood to soften the look and they've also done a few exposed shelves which I really love because you just have that splash of color and also the shelves are backlit as well. So not only do you have your splash of color but it also brings it out even further with uh, the lights that are uh, built into the shelving. Uh, glass, so we've got windows, they're opening windows, they give you the view for the entrance as well as some air going through. I like the fact that they've built this um, breakfast nook, they would call it, but this really is a six-seater table that is built solid from the Caesar stone, and it's a waterfall Caesar stone, so an entire table built out of this massive slab of Caesar stone. Very, very nicely done. And then you've got the higher level for the cooking, another big slab of Caesar stone, again, waterfall on the one side with a lot of drawers built into it. And then we have an induction stove right here. All the appliances are built in and it's melee. So we've got, of course, the espresso machine. I absolutely can't go without one. So I'm loving the fact that we've got it. The microwave, the stove, the oven, and the fridge freezer all built in. Extractor fan, of course, Mille again, and it's very slick look. So this doesn't open, doesn't start blowing, doesn't do anything of the sort. It just very gently extracts everything and it blows it outside of the kitchen. So there's no turning of air. The scullery is also perfection. Nice touch again with the wooden door. And then we have a double sink here and quite a lot of space through that you can use for your ironing and uh, storage. And then you've got a door leading out. 
there is an outside cooking stove as well. This place is all about entertaining and cooking up a storm. So if you have a particularly smelly fish, this can happen outside of your scullery door. It's important to notice because uh, those of us that like to cook, pay attention to those details. All of uh, everything here, of course, is soft clothes and we have no handles. Of course, these are your fridges, so of course we have handles here, but we have no handles throughout um, on uh, the rest of the cupboards. Soft touch, soft clothes. From the kitchen, stepping into the TV room, one of several. Beautiful, I'm already starting to see some of uh, Groenkloof Nature Reserve. I'm starting to see the golf course. So it brings me a taste of what is to come as I carry on going through the entertainment areas and out into the, the open spaces. Important to notice throughout the house we have built-in air conditioners and they're all split units so every single room can have its own um, special temperature that you prefer. You also have sound throughout the space and again you can play different music in every single room. So that's really attention to detail one more time. And to keep with the consistent look you notice you've got the touch of wood again, again the white and the Caesar stone. So everything from the bar has the same elements as the kitchen as well as your door. And of course, stunning. Look at that wallpaper as well, Marisha. So you've got wallpaper on the one side, you've got the massive mirror, but you also have windows leading out. And I like the fact that with your bathrooms, you have the wallpaper as a feature, but the rest is floor to ceiling tile. And it's the same massive tiles that we see on the floors they run all the way up the wall. What I also love here is, again, some really fun elements that they've included. For instance, your lights above the bar, you have the copper, silver, and the rose gold colors. So really, everything is ultra modern, but then it softens up by a splash of color here and there. And the bar is fitted with a bar fridge and a nice maker, so you really have everything you need by your bar and again a ton of storage it's all about entertaining we stepped out onto the patio absolutely magnificent open space exceptionally deep it gives you the view of the golf course you can of course entertain yourself checking out the golfers we are on hole number two here and no balls come this way unless someone intentionally hits it but you don't get any stray balls but we are very well elevated above the golf course. It is gorgeous view, exceptionally deep patio. The stable is a uh, 10 seater and I can easily fit at least another 20 of my friends. There is another, there's a gas stove right here. So remember the cooking, we want to be able to cook pretty much on every corner of this house. So we have the, the bra area here. We have gas stop here and we have nice high ceilings and the music's built in here as well. So whether you're on the patio or another room, you can really enjoy your music. There is also a basin that uh, they've built in here. And from the patio, you step straight onto the swimming pool area. Uh, it's a very, very cool feature, this uh, bridge going over the pool. Imagine once again, having a nice cold drink in your hand, sitting right here, enjoying the view of the golf course, enjoying chatting to people. Maybe your children are playing inside the pool, maybe you are. They've even built those stunning benches along the entire length of the pool. Plus they've added all the space for the lounges and everything is facing out into this absolutely magnificent view. Amazing, if all golf estates could only offer properties like this and this is where we get a small glimpse of the property from the other side. And of course we have a rim overflow pool here so it will give you that sound of the running water and it gives you the view also of a massive boma. It really is clever the way it's been built. It is also shielded from any potential wind. The sun by the way is setting towards my right hand side. So sitting on the patio, you're also enjoying the sunsets. And look at that sunset with the clouds. They got the memo, very nice. 
We are very close to Krunkluf Nature Reserve. You can literally feel that the air is crisper and fresher here. We're surrounded by nature and we are also on the edge of Pretoria East. So really the location is fantastic. Very easy access to both highways leading to Joburg, going into city center, going towards union buildings. So this is an absolute haven for people coming from overseas, for embassies, as well as for locals. It is a magnificent spot. We're going to get a chance to enjoy the outdoors a bit more shortly, but I want to step back into the formal dining room area and stepping through folding doors once again. So all the doors from the lounge, from the bar area and from the dining room area all fold open into the covered patio area. A very interesting point to note is attention to detail once again. They've even built strip lights along the curtains. So as the evening comes down, you see also the light, just a touch of light coming down the curtains, adding to that mood that uh, I spoke about earlier on. Massive dining room table, and it can get even bigger. True that. And look at this gorgeous fireplace. It's a two-sided and it's, uh, it uses methanol, so it's not, uh, um, uh, th there's no smell, there's no fumes, uh, there's no need for gas connection. So super clean, eco-friendly fireplace and beautifully it warms up both your living room and your dining room and a little bit up as well. Very nice feature of this house is high ceilings and you'll notice just whilst we're looking down here, you don't have just one boring ceiling going smoothly all the, the, the length of uh, the living space. They, they have done some reduced uh, ceilings here and there to add to the mood as well as to build in some lights and to build in some interest into the space as well as conceal air conditioners that we have throughout the space to ensure our perfect climate control. So now I've stepped into the second lounge area downstairs. This is the potential future cinema room. It's currently a TV room. You have an entire unit built against the wall here to display your TV. You can, of course, convert it into a cinema room if you so desire, but sliding door again out onto the golf course, out onto the entertainment area. Beautiful, moody room. Again, the ceiling here has now come down and more lights are built in to create that experience depending on what you're watching. A guest bedroom and we have potentially one or two bedrooms on the ground floor and we have to start with the bathroom of course. I, I can see your eyes drawing into that bathroom because of the view. You must if have I met. have a view like this I'll be in the bath all day long. Yeah, yeah. So we have a massive shower. This is now the guest suite downstairs. It is a full on suite or it can be shared by the fifth bedroom if you decide. You have your double basin, freestanding bath with a handheld shower. All of the fittings are hands grower. You have a separate bidet and a toilet, a massive shower. And once again, attention to detail, even down to the tiles on the floors. Everything is done to absolute perfection. And you have the niche, of course, in the wall, so you can put uh, your bits and bobs in the shower, everything tucked away. And you can see everything is really neat in this house. They love their neatness, and they build the house in such a way that it lends itself to keeping it very neat. The bedroom is massive. Huge cupboard running the entire length of the wall here. It's currently used as a storage overflow, although it's important to note that this house comes with three storerooms and a gardener's storeroom. So storage is definitely not in any short supply here. This sliding door leads onto a balcony and this balcony is shared with the office or the fifth bedroom. What we're looking at is should you need a fifth bedroom, we literally then just add a door for the fourth bedroom and then we have two bedrooms sharing a full bathroom and sharing this massive balcony and view of the hill. Okay, because this is a very important element because this is massive, especially nowadays with the trends of perhaps the mom, dad, in-laws to stay with the children and yet have enough space and yet their privacy as well. 
You can have both in-laws here. You can still have a study. You can have more bedrooms upstairs and another pyjama lounge upstairs. So with a house that is over 860 square meter on the roof, you've got all the space you need. But now, we're not gonna get, take these stairs down, but I want to just point out, so these are the stairs leading to the garage downstairs. We're gonna go into the garage from outside, but just to point out once again, the quality of the finishes. You have this solid Caesar stone staircase leading all the way down into the garage, into a landing, and from that landing, you have three massive storerooms. Make one of them a wine cellar, make two of them a wine cellar if you don't want to drink all your wine, uh, but storage you have and you can go descend into your garage in style. But importantly, to see the garage and to experience it as you drive one of your many beloved babies into it, because this is probably the first house I see with a 10 car garage. And some of these cars are really magnificent. I want to point out they're not staying with the house. You're buying the house without the cars. But just imagine what your cars would look like here. And even down to the way the driveway is sloping, this massive drainage that it's built in here, you can drive a very low sports vehicle here and we'll notice the proof right here in front of us, as well as your SUV. You obviously need at least one of each. Space, oh, 10 car garage. Now you've got how many cars standing here? Five. Very, very comfortably. Very yes. comfortably. Yes, with, with the five cars that you see, there is not even any need for maneuvering. They literally in and out. You'll notice the um, leading into the staircase going into the house, so if you are to park here, you can literally just open this door, go straight in. What they've done here also is they've tiled the garage and they've really presented it very well with the idea that if you have this really massive party, that this humongous uh, patio does not fit all your friends, they can overflow into here, you can add another give or take two, 300 people, and then your party will really be next level. <laughs> Homewarming party. Don't forget to invite your favorite real estate agent <laughs> when you do. <laughs> Double sliding doors. And right next to the doors there, there's also an outside uh, toilet. So if you have your guests, of course, it's, everything is easily accessible. From the garage, from your party overflow, look at the view of the house. You also see the stairs leading into the patio area. And now let's step out onto the golf course because this is all about the golf course and the view and the location. We really, the, the sky is playing along today. Magnificent cloud cover. And it just brings the softness in the lines of the house, but it also puts it very dramatically against the sky and it shows you really the, the magnificent architecture. Very well-known architect. Do you remember? Patichidis. That's the one, Patichidis. We're on the second hall on a stand of 1,200 square meter, one of very few three-level homes. So a home on three levels, Every single level gives you a magnificent view of the prime location where you're situated. And not only are you prime location on the golf course, you're prime location in Pretoria. It uh, seldom gets better than that. Split over three levels. This ultra modern masterpiece is yeah, something to behold, let me tell you guys. Yeah, I'm glad we came out just now because look at this. And look at the glass balustrade. It is modern, of course, but with all the down lights that they've uh, placed on the balconies and throughout the house, it also does soften the look as well. And magnificently landscaped, so everything really is perfection. Mauritius mentioned it a few times. The perfection to details that you have in this house is 
based on our experience of doing uh, well, a few tours here and there, quite impressive. Even your staircase leading onto the golf course, solid granite blocks. Each stair is a granite. The windows are tinted. No one can see in during the day, but you still get the view. Custom made aluminum frames throughout. It's really very well, everything is crafted to perfection. And again, just a quick look at those lights, strip lights built into the recessed ceiling. Now that the sun is setting, it really comes to life, this house. I can't, yeah, this is amazing. Marusha? There are two staff rooms as well. For a house of that size, you probably need some support. And now, stepping up, take a quick look at the staircase. We're carrying on with the Caesar stone staircase. Each step, a whole piece on its own. And then we have a massive Caesar stone landing here. And then we see this very thick glass and steel balustrade, super solid. And heading on to level number three, into the pyjama lounge with a view. You can see here your ducted air conditioning. And this pyjama lounge opens onto two balconies. They really have capitalized on the fact that you can step out onto your balcony pretty much from every single room. To be honest, as nice as the patio is, this is probably my spot right here. Nobody can see you, you're nice and tucked away. And yet, come on, how can you beat this? And you're so well elevated. You're really looking above the rooftops of the rest of the houses as well. Balcony number two, because we have to have choice. This balcony is also accessible by uh, one of the bedrooms. Something that you've mentioned earlier that I really like. The cantilevers. The cantilevers. So there's no pillar, there's no support structure or pillar there. It just, look at that. How awesome is this shot right here? Look and you that, see guys. this effect everywhere. You see it here, you see it across, you see it the balcony. And it's very cleverly also designed that each balcony also provides shade for, for the level below. underneath, yeah. below. And then, of course, the roof also extends further than the cantilever. So that way, you really make sure not really, not, not much rain, not, not uh, much of the elements are coming into the space. Should we head into the bedroom? This is the third bedroom or the first bedroom upstairs that we're seeing. All of the bedrooms are en suite and all of them are very, very generous. And once again, the air cons that we spoke about and then plenty of cupboard space. This bedroom is with a shower and the same quality finishes, the tiling, the flooring, everything is there. Very nice. I love the, the detail in the shower itself with the tiling. We've got the view from uh, the pyjama lounge here. So we've literally just gone around that bedroom. So you can, of course, reach it from the pyjama lounge. Then we have a bedroom behind me. So let's have a quick look. And this bedroom has its own balcony overlooking the front. So even uh, the, the bedroom that is uh, uh, not really looking at the golf course, the view of that bedroom is really the magnificent style of the house, plus some of the mountains or the hills behind it. Frames it very nicely, like you said. Look at that overhang once again. The architectural design. Plenty of cupboards again. You have pocket windows running along the cupboard. So I love the fact that you get natural light into the dressing room. And then there's, uh, of course, the ensuite bathroom as well. Similar finishes as all the other ones. Top class. Everywhere you see the same uh, wood, which is slightly bleached wood. And then everywhere you see the same floors, the massive floor tiles, and these are non-slip tiles. So really nice and grippy as you're going down and plenty of cupboard space here. One more balcony overlooking one of the several lemon trees. You might be mistaken to think it's an orange tree. It's a lemon tree. With an orange color. With an orange color. <laughs> and walking down the passage, there is a strong room, walk-in safe and a strong room uh, together, wall storage and then we're stepping into the main bedroom. Nice and high door and high ceilings as we come in. 
And then again, we have that element with the recessed ceiling just above the bed. And this again makes it cozy and comfortable. It is a modern house, but it also needs to be cozy. The bed is facing the golf course. But cleverly, they've, they've put this half wall right in front of the bed. And I think that's a very, very good element because it gives you complete privacy. If you have people on the golf course not interested in playing golf, they can't look into your bedroom either. So you have full privacy. But if you feel like checking out the golf course, one step off the bed, two more steps, and look at that view. Once again, I think we timed this perfectly, Marusha. Look at this, guys. How better can you get? Again, an overlook on the overflow, on the poolside, your boma, fire pit. And here, you're gonna see your three levels perfectly. From the bottom, 10 car garage, your entertainment area, and then the bedrooms up here. And I mean, look at that balcony, the size of the balcony outside of your pyjama lounge even. Every single room here comes with a personal balcony. Back into the bedroom, we have a fireplace here as well. And one, once again, we see the attention to detail uh, the, that they've put into building this. The fireplace is Caesar stone again. These are tiles cladding the, the, basically the, the entire height of the fireplace. But then what they've done is a bit of a 3D element with backlit tiles there. So I don't know if it shows well in the video, but creates the mood once again. And then we also have the floating fireplace. So underneath they strip lights as well. A little Juliet balcony, just because we can have as many balconies as we want to. And then we step into a massive walk-in uh, closet with natural light, with the same piped air cons that we've seen throughout, super high ceilings. Stunning. And again, look at that bath over there, Marusha. I'm surprised you haven't jumped into it and tried it out because <laughs> it's quite this a is special a disco one. Bath. <laughs> it's a disco bar, okay? It's a disco bath. The music is built into the bath as well as lights. So you can play the lights in line with your music and of course you can have the jets and you can enjoy that you can enjoy the view again maybe i didn't mention we have a view so the light is underwater but the music is above the water am i right i would hope so <laughs> <laughs> huge shower and I, I like the fact that they didn't even bother with the door here because of course the floor is sloping the same attention to detail with the floor tiles as well there's a handheld shower and a rain shower and then the floating double sink and cabinets and the separate toilet and bidet as well i love this setup this is a massive mirror for your vanity yep or makeup and more storage and more storage a really beautiful room and it flows very nicely because you can enter from the bathroom as well as from the bedroom finish off again in the patio because truly this is going to be for the bloopers let's go downstairs <laughs> let's go left <laughs> i might leave this in the video actually heading out towards the pyjama lounge. It is a big house. I'm excused to get lost and to enter the wrong <laughs> room. But um, I mean, it's a 10 garage, five bedroom house, three lounges. So yes, plenty to see and plenty more to see if we go back out into the entertainment area, which is truly amazing. Look at how the sun hits the staircase as we enjoying the view of the sunset. Perfect timing. And we get to see the performance of a golfer, which is also in line with the perfect timing. Let's see, here we go. There so you have it. Guys. This house has three cooking spaces, one being the patio, one being the kitchen, one being outside of the kitchen and how many entertainment areas and the size of this patio and the size of the garage that can double up as entertainment and the size of the golf course that basically becomes your playground what more can you wish for in Pretoria I'm um, in awe this property 
I think this is, yeah, I've said at the start, I hope we didn't disappoint you because this property is one serious masterpiece. Guys, which is your favorite part? Look at that. Back to the pool area. See the sunset one more time, your Boma. This is, yeah, this is undoubtedly one of my favorites. Wait until you see the photos. As always, Marusha, thank you so much for taking us through. Guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this. And of course, as always, Marusha's details, phone number, email are below. Make sure to reach out with any questions you have or viewing request. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.